in which there's a Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. When you have, uh, uh, let me finish. When they describe this tripersonal deity, there is Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. They speak. The Father cannot simply say, I alone am God and there's no none else. Because within the New Testament understanding of God, there is not only the Father who is God. The Son is also God. Suppose the Son said, I am God. There is no God before me. There is no God after me. I alone am God and there's none else. It will be a false statement. Reason being why? Because the Son cannot say that because there's the Father and the Holy Spirit. He cannot use the word I and me and none else. So now I'm going to ask you again. No, you've asked me. I'm going to ask you again. Having this concept of God in the New Testament by these 10 authors, as you say, does that not contradict the Old Testament in which God is saying I and me and there's none else. Who is this I and you, before I finish, who is this I and me within the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit? Okay, listen carefully. I'm not going to attempt to answer and I'll tell you why. There was a debate recently for someone having a two hours debate about the Godhead. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, how could it be one God? It took these biblical men for 57 years and the, the answer that they came out with they still couldn't fully explain it. So for me to attempt to explain to this gentleman, oh, I know what the Godhead means. I know what the, it means when I'm God. I won't even attempt to do that. So I can't. It took them 57 years, day and night, studying the books. They couldn't answer. So how does he expect me to answer him in five minutes? I will answer on your behalf. No. I'll tell you what the answer is. The answer is categorically, the New Testament authors, if they are describing a tripersonal deity, they contradict the very unipersonal deity. Let me finish. The no, unipersonal, no, no, no. because, you because you answer. said. That was one question saying I couldn't answer. Wait, you said you, answer you can't. You said no, no, you can't. I said I couldn't answer the fact that you're saying to me, look. Oh, you can answer then. No, listen to me. You're saying Go to ahead. me, prove to me that there's a one. I'll give you another chance. Go I, ahead. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying to you, when, he's, when he said there's only one God, he meant. One Godhead, one essence, one source for all three persons, one source, that's the simplest way of putting it. Godhead, not God, Godhead. That's all I will say. I will not try to, uh, to enlighten you, so I can't. Let me, no, I can't. Let me help you. Here that I'm going to try let me, let me say, help you in I your confusion. You Look, God's told me in the Bible, this is what the Godhead is. It does not say that. And for me to attempt to think I'm clever in my own body, 57 years, hundreds of scholars, all the brains of scientists and everybody you can think of, they couldn't find the answer to that. Because some things of God are hidden in the mystery so that we, no one knows everything about God. No one. That's all I will say. Right. Let me help you in your confusion. Hang on. Can I speak? Can I can I speak? Can I speak? Can I speak? Oh, you're not confused. Fine. Fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Brothers, brothers. Okay. Since you're not confused, here it is. What you've just explained, you and I know very well. You, you and I know because you're not confused. Are you going to keep on interrupting? No, rudely. You, you keep saying you and I both know. Why don't you? Why don't you tell me when I finish then? No. Why don't you tell me that when I finish? Oh, you're going to forget, right? Okay, fine. It's okay, brothers. The reason why your 57 scholars, or your, all these scholars for 57 years, couldn't answer is obvious to me. To what you, to you? Yeah, not to us. You, 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 you interrupt. Am not I saying you're not now? No, earlier on you did. Sorry, I you said, said not said. earlier. Forget earlier on. Yeah, so why do you interrupt? Keep on interrupting. Hang on, make it clear to you that you're going to say what you're saying. I, I expect some kind of civility within you. Thank you. So, in the Old Testament, God described himself as I alone am God. There's none else. No one before me, no one after me. If you know very well the Trinity, the tripersonal God, doesn't speak. Because Trinity is just a concept in which these three are united. The Trinity itself is not another person, not a fourth person. It doesn't speak, it doesn't talk, it doesn't hear. The one that is capable of speaking is the Father, the Son or the Holy Spirit. So the one to speak, I alone am God or none else, and none else, is either the Father, 
the Son and the Holy Spirit. Because they are the ones who can only speak. The Trinity is not a fourth person that speaks. Every single Christian knows about it. If you didn't know, you need to learn something about your Christian theology. In Christian theology, the Trinity, the Godhead, is not another God. It is just a description of the three persons within this understanding of concept of God. Trinity doesn't hear, listen or talk. Trinity is not a person. The one who speaks is a person. Are you now telling me which... No, you, which just said, you just said that the three persons that don't talk. No, I said Trinity... Yeah, that's part of the Trinity. The Father, the Son, uh, listen, and the Holy Listen, listen, listen. They speak. The Trinity they speak. itself... They speak. Is that a fourth person? No, I just told you it's one person, one, one Godhead with three persons. Right. Each individual has different roles. Let's Who speaks within the Trinity? All three. All three? Yes. Right. Do they speak all three together or individually? They can, they can, speak, they can speak as individuals, yes. Their essence is the same. Hear my they're, question they're, again. Yeah, well listen, you're asking me, I'm trying to answer it. But you interrupted me, like you say. Be a bit patient. Answer, ask the question again. You interrupted me. You understood my question, yeah? Take, no, answer, ask the question one more time slowly, so I can take it up again. That's what Did I wanted to... That's what I was trying to do. Please. And now you're telling me be patient. No, you said to me the Trinity doesn't speak, you said. Is that right? No, I didn't ask you that question. What did you say? I am telling Thank you, you once right. again. No, I'm in, I'm not hurry, no. no problem. I am saying, does the individual persons, all of them, they speak individually or they can collectively speak all together at once? They speak individually, but listen, what they say is representative of the three in the same essence and anything that they think is identical, they're, they're unique that they have the same traits. Wrong they're... question you're answering. Uh, let no, me ask you the question mean, again. I just answered it. No, let me, you're answering the wrong question. Right. My question is, do the individual members of the Trinity all speak at once or individually separately? I said to you that they can speak individually or in cohesion, okay? They can speak all together at once? Yes. Give me an example. Well, I'll give you an example. If, through, if the Holy Spirit was to speak to somebody... No, yes, give me an example from the Bible. I'll give, you, I'm going to give you an example. Well, so I could bring you, for example, an angel speaking to a prophet. What he's saying has come from all three persons, but only one has conveyed the message. That's what I'm saying. You, asked you misunderstood the question again. No, I'll just answer it. So when, when the person speaks, let there be light. Yes. Who's speaking? In the Old Testament? The God. No. Yes. When, when he says, I am going to send a son, who's speaking? Well, I'm going to send a who? A son, S-O-N. Who's speaking? I don't know that part of the Bible. Where did you say, I'm going to send a son? Where did you part of the Bible is that? <laughs> now I'm asking you. I've read the Bible for 24 years. 24 years? Yeah, and I'm trying to find out from you where it says, I'm going to send a son. Where does it say that in the Old Testament? Show me. So there's no... no just tell me. You, you tell no, me. No, no. So... Thank you for correcting. No, you are correcting. Listen, now. listen. So that means nowhere in the Old Testament God ever says, I'm going to send a son. No, he doesn't have to. No, why should he? You know what? He doesn't have to or he shouldn't do. No, no. Does it or not? What he do, what he, does it? What he does say, he uses a different term. You know what, what, what does he, he say? He says, I'm going to send a servant. He's going to be my servant. Oh, so God's sending a servant. Yes. Fine. Listen carefully. No, no, no. Let me Fine. Explain. Let me explain. No, thank you for so the correction. Seven, yes, all right. 700 years mm. before Jesus came, before he came, and this is in the Old Testament, it tells of him, it, the name given to him, one of the names, was that he would be servant in nature, he came to serve. He didn't come to be a king and to have people worship him. He came down to our level, mm. and it predicts his death in advance, 700 years prior to him coming there. What, what, who else apart from God can make a prediction? You keep on preaching. Let's have a discussion. So let's have a dis let's have a discussion. No, no, no. Without going into preaching mode, you can have a discussion. He uses the word servant. Good. Right. Thank you very much for this correction. I know I'm happy to be corrected. So now there is nothing in the Bible in which he, which says God is going to send a son. Amazing, isn't it? You learn something about Christian scripture when the Christians lie about every single week. When now this gentleman is correcting them. Fine. So now we realize the persons within the Trinity, when God said, 
I am speaking. I said 57 years. Are you are you are you going to keep on interrupting again? Every time, every every time I want to speak and you you interrupt. Right. Let there be light. Yeah. You were saying the Trinity as a person speaks collectively. Yes, they can. Yes. I didn't say they can. No. I'm asking you, is the Trinity collectively speaking? I just told you they can. Yes. I'm not saying they can. So Did they? they can't. Did they? they can't. Did it happen in the past? The question is, yes. it happened in the past. Did they speak collectively? Yes. Right. Which Christian scholarship can I learn this from? Planet Earth. I'll tell you. Don't okay. give me from planet I'll Jupiter. Okay, you want to hear scripture? Yeah, to tell prove me what I said. Okay. okay. What Bible is this? Go ahead. It doesn't matter, brother. Why are you so irrelevant? I just want to make two irrelevant. I just want it could be it could be Harry Potter, Potter Bible. Bible. I don't mind. <laughs> Carry on. Yeah. So the points I want to make is before the earth was even made, we know as Christians that the Holy Spirit, some of its visual that you can see, would be lightning. It would be fire, and and it could also be a wind. Okay, that's one of the manifestations of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, okay? God, let let me finish, time, please. Yeah? It's okay, brother. Let's him, let's and then him. The point I'm making you is, I'm going to demonstrate that in the Bible in Genesis, in the second line, the Spirit of God was hovering above the water. So Wrong question. Let me finish. I'm answering it. If you give me a chance, I'll interrupt. Now, let's see if he answers. Before God made man, does anybody here think that angels? Any angels took part in creation? Does anybody here? No one talks. Right, fine. Don't talk then. That's good. It's better. So when God says, "Let us make man in our own nature," make yes, let us. Who is God speaking to? Is he speaking to an angel or is he speaking to himself? Did he speak English or Hebrew? Listen carefully. I just asked, what language? I just, demonst I just demonstrated that the Godhead. When the Spirit was hovering, Jesus was already there. We've got the Father, and God the Father said to Jesus, Let us, not to the angels, but to Jesus, let us. And the Spirit that God breathed through his nostril into Adam's nostrils was the Holy Spirit. That's what gives us all life here today. What was my question? That was it. That Brothers, was the answer. What was my question? You asked me. When God said, let there be light, yes, you asked me, was all three persons, you know, in the same, three people as such, talking at the same time, was it one voice? I said to you, when the spirit was hovering, that means it was there, when in the first... Who was speaking? Let me finish. I'm explaining, when you've got God the Father and Jesus Christ, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit is hovering, all three are united in let us together make humanity in our image. Not to look like flesh and blood like me, but he wanted his nature, his love to be inside every one of your hearts. Okay. That, that's what God wanted. Okay. He wanted a part of him because God is good. Let's he see loves I, everybody. Let's see if I've understood what you children. said. We're all his children. Let's see if I've understood what you said. Yes. So because the Bible is written in Hebrew, it says something like this. Bereshit bara Elohim. Het shamayim warif. In the beginning, Bereshit, bara means to create. Elohim is a noun meaning gods. Shamayim is of course the heavens, and arad is of course the earth. If you knew anything about Hebrew language, which I assume you do, you don't. So let me tell you then something that you don't know. Now let me tell. Without any interruption, you can go and research later. In the Hebrew language. Just like in Arabic, the verb and the noun must follow each other in number and gender. Just like when I say, I are going or I am going, I am going, not I are going, we are going, not we am going. Even in English, we have to have the person, they have to have this synchronity between them. In Hebrew, as well as in Arabic, the verb and the noun, if the verb is singular, the noun has to be singular. If the noun is singular, the verb has to be singular. If the noun is masculine, the verb has to be used masculine. If the noun is plural, the verb has to be plural. So you have to have this 
alignment between verb and the noun in terms of person, number and gender. Guess what the problem is, my friend? The very first page in the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis, it starts by saying bara. Elohim, who bara. Bara is a word in the Hebrew language in singular. That means the word Elohim that comes after has to be understood as singular or plural? Singular. singular. Because that's the consonance between the verb and the noun. So when we have now the singular God saying, let us, in the Arabic as well as the Hebrew language, the uses of plural usage, does it denote plural of numbers or some kind of other plurality? Like majestic. In the Quran, for your information, my friend, which you didn't know, God, God, God speaks in the plural. We have revealed the Quran and we will protect it. Does any Muslim on planet Earth take that mean God is more than one? No, no. Never. When God says, you know, we, they understand that this we refers to the might of God, his authority, his might, his dominion, his greatness. But when it comes to worship, does God say worship us? Never. He says, worship me, me. Let me finish. So whenever God wants to give explanation of proximity, closeness, relationship, God uses personal I and me because that's how he is closer. But whenever he wants to establish his authority, his might, his power, he says we. We have done this and we will protect it and so on and so forth. In Hebrew language, likewise, my friend, since you didn't know anything about Hebrew grammar, I would request you to go and learn about the Hebrew language and then you'll realize no wonder the Jewish people for thousands of years when they had the scripture before Christians came along in the scene, they did not believe God is a triune God. They believed in one and only God and they worship him to this day. One God, one and only, and they vehemently reject the concept of Trinity. Why? Because they understand their language. It's their language Hebrew, not yours. So in their language, when God describes in this manner, you somehow come along 2000 years later and retrospectively, you do injustice by misinterpreting the scripture from divorcing itself from a linguistic context. The linguistic context is very important. That is why I asked you, when God says, I am God and there's none else, you said, all of the Trinity spoke at that same time. When Adam, the prophet, spoke, this is going to be my question to you. I would like you to answer. No, no, no. Important question. This is a question I'm going to you to address. When Adam, whichever, but this question please address. When Adam was in the Garden of Eden, he was walking with God, talking with God. Who did he see? Did he see the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit? Or the Son only? The Holy Spirit only? The Father only, or all three, give me indication from the five books of Moses where Adam saw what he saw. Okay, let's, let's get something perfectly clear now, right? I am, same as Jesus, an uneducated man. Jesus has no education. So I would say, if these 30 of us stood here right now, plurals, nouns, but I haven't got a clue what he's talking about. Look. I really don't, I'm being honest. No, I'm not, I'm telling you my own position with what he said. One thing I do know, that when the word let us is translated in Eng to English, irrespective of what you might say, the plural, the noun, the word let us, we believe it to be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. That's what the us is. It's not as you say, well, it's we, when it's this and it's that. No, no, it's, it, it stays, it's solid like rock. You can't move it. And what you're saying to me is, by using pronouns and this, that, I'm telling you, you can get 200 different Bibles from every country, yes? And it uses the word, let us, meaning in the context that Jesus was there, the Holy Spirit was hovering, God breathed into the nostrils of Adam and he created man through the Holy Spirit. That's what I'm saying and I'm sticking to that. And you can go on about pronouns, I learned from the Bible that knowledge, it builds you up. You know, big head, knowledge. You know, love, 
it, it builds up. Knowledge, knowledge, you know, puffs you up. I know everything, but love builds you up. Knowledge puffs up. Love builds. You can up. love a false god. No, I don't love no false god. No, people can love a false god, right? What is important then to distinguish between true god and false god by knowledge. So now no, you we, understand we, the importance of knowledge over love. So now answer the question: Who did Adam speak with in the Garden of Eden? Who did he see? Well, you ask me, do you want me to answer? Yeah. That's the you, that's the idea. Okay, listen, listen carefully. The the New Testament specifically says. I'm going to go back to the Godhead, which I don't want to, but I need to say that God the Father, nobody has ever seen, nobody, human being, has ever seen God the Father. He dwells in an inapproachable light. It's impossible for a human being to see God the Father. No one can do it. No human being can do it. So, the answer is, well, if it wasn't God the Father, who was it? Was it the Holy Spirit in a bodily form? No. It was Jesus Christ in the Garden of Eden with Adam. That's the answer. So in the Garden so you asked me if it was... If I've it got was your God. answer. I've got so it, I'll give your it answer is, Adam spoke with... Not God the Father. He spoke to he the spoke, God. He spoke with Jesus. 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 Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah. Right. And who agrees with you from Christian scholarship? Anyone? Well, if, if it says, yeah, if, if Scripture says, not what I say, if Scripture... No, no. To no, understand, no, to understand I'm, the Scripture... I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you the Scripture. I'll read it out if anyone is does, anybody. Does, does, it, does, it, does, it, does it say it's Jesus there? No, let, let me just finish. If you give me a chance, I'll read it to you, and you can all draw your own mind. You think. And you say, well, that, is, that, is that possible or is it not? I'm not going to tell you to believe anything. You make your own decision. Right? No one's in a hurry to go home, are they? No. Nope. Good. Well, I haven't, I, I, I've yet to met a, a Christian who's memorized the whole Bible. No, I haven't either. That's why I'm loving to look for it. Why is that? Why is that? Because I'm a human being. There's 2,000 pages. We are human beings too. Yeah, and we memorize here, the Quran. Does anybody here think they could memorize 2,000 pages? Yes, people can. 2,000 pages? Yeah, of course. Maybe one in a million. No, no, like of it. course not. Maybe you're there are the many, in many He's Muslims who have memorized the books of Hadith. Right? This is the difference between Islam and Christianity. 2,000 pages. Yes. More than that, more than that. Yeah. That's the difference between Islam and yeah, Christianity. To the king of the ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. There is another more specific um, translation, but I have to look for my other Bible because I might find it easier. This Bible is not good enough. No, it's the, it's the same Bible. It's you just said Bible. you need no, another need, translation. No, listen carefully. It wasn't good enough. I, what I'm trying to say to you, listen carefully. I've highlighted things in that Bible, quite a few things, but the main highlights for every bit that I want to... Sure, sure. So just give me a second. Like, you can all make your own mind up. I'm not telling you to believe anything, other than the fact that I'm saying... That you can't God believe in a book which no, has no, mistakes I'm in it. Saying to you, Simple. God, I'm saying to you, God the Father, no human being, don't care who it is, Moses, nobody has ever seen God. He dwells in unapproachable light. The only person that's ever seen him is Jesus Christ. Can you see the Father in heaven? Sorry? In the second life, in the day of judgment passes, yes. when everything is there, judgment is done, yes. would you be able to see the Father? Yes. So why can you not see him now? Because I just told you he's in an unapproachable light. And then what's going to happen it, then, it, later? I'll tell you the difference. Today, we're all humans, yeah? We've got blood, flesh and blood. We're imperfect, even if we do things to correct our sins. But in the future, in heaven, you won't have a body of flesh and blood. Okay, got you. Let me finish. You'll have a body that is pure, no sin, and if you spiritual body, you can approach God without having fear of what I've done yesterday, the day before. God's not there to judge you. You've already been judged. You've been found worthy to be in his presence as one of his own. Why would he want you? Carry on. We got you. Carry on. Don't worry. I'm, I'm glad you got that. It's quite a hard one to get around that one. Okay, you ready then? 
Is everybody ready, yeah? This is what it says about God the Father, okay? Who at the due time will be revealed by God, the blessed and only ruler of all, King of kings, Lord of lords, who alone is immortal. Jesus wasn't immortal. He died and came back. He died in the flesh, but not in the spirit. Whose home is in, in, in inaccessible light, to whom no human being has ever seen. No human being has ever seen God. To him be honour and glory forever and ever. Amen. So I know for a fact, God the Father, he dwells in unapproachable light. He's not going to come down to earth to be in the garden with Adam. Not because so, he's so humble. Not so did Adam, like... did Adam know there was a father also? I would say so, yes. Can you prove anything from the text no, to I, provide? You ask me. Yeah? Do, no, is I'm... there any evidence in the text or is this simply your speculation? No, you're asking me if I... I thought he was asking me personally. If you're asking me... Not if, personally. If, no, no, no. If you're asking me is this your speculative belief? No, no, no I'm asking. But under one, one thing I'm going to make clear. If you ask me to show you something in the Bible, if it's there, do you accept it as being true? If it's there in the Bible. Let me no, tell no, you my no, stance. No no no. Answer the question. no, 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 no. Let me tell Answer you what I, my position is. Yeah. If, if it's, it's there, it's true. If it's there in the Bible, then it's there in the Bible. So it doesn't make true. the Bible true, does that's it? So, 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 so even if I showed it to you, it makes no difference. Slow down, slow down. What's the point I, 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 you find, I find it very strange. Yeah. If I show you something in the Quran, yeah. does it make it true? Not to me, it doesn't, no. Then why are you using this double standard then? I just told you the reason why. So, the so your stance, no, your stance. No, my stance is the difference between listen, the, the Bible my friend, and any other book. My friend, is human beings inspired my friend, by the Holy Spirit. Listen, listen. They wrote it down. Listen. Not just human beings. Your stance on my book is, if I show you something from my book, it doesn't mean it's true. It may be true to me. That's right. It right. That's my stand is similar to yours. I accept that. So, so I why did that. you become shocked when I said something like that? No, because, because you have the same kind of standard that no, I have. No, no, you don't. That's what I pointed out about what? 15 minutes ago was the main difference between the Bible and from any other religion. Why does it contain mistakes? Tell what? me. Why does it contain mistakes? Several. Why does it contain mistakes? I just told you earlier, if you listen, but maybe you weren't listening. I was listening because they were tired? No, I said to you. You said they were tired. No, maybe they were no, tired. I said human error. Human error. Yeah. So God did not protect his book. Listen carefully. If it's human error, that could happen. Let me Why did you not protect no, let me from error? These five pillars of Christianity, and you could go to the Old and the New Testament, especially in the New, that will say to you, this is in, it aligns. Everything is in, in. But there is no lies in it, right? In the New Testament or the Old that I know of, not. And if I show you some lies right now, what are you going to do about this book, which has lies in it? Well, if you show to me that Jesus is not the Son of no, God. No, no, lies, no, no, lies. Listen, Don't give me an no, example. No, no, I'm going to show you lies. If you show no, no, no. You You're not going to give me a specific I'm example. Gonna, gonna you. No, do you know what a lie no, is? No, listen, a lie listen, could listen, be Kevin, any lies. I'm telling you that God never lies. How's that? That's what I'm saying. That God would never lie to any human being or angel. No, he would not lie. That's what I'm saying. God right. would not lie. If I show you a lie by the authors no, of the New Testament, show me a lie made by God. That's the difference. hear me out. If I show you a lie by the author of Matthew, for example, the first book in the New Testament, yeah. what would you say about this author when he lied? If I show you. Well, me, I'll tell you what I'm going to do to cut the short. This, I'm going to say that and we can leave it, right? This is my answer, mm -hmm. yeah? I make a solemn oath before God now to bear witness, right, that if Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Paul, all the authors of the New Testament, and even if one author of the Old Testament writ one lie, a blatant lie, of these four things, that Jesus is the Why, why only four things? No, no, I'm telling you... Well, <laughs> why restrict to four I'm lies only? I'm sticking to the pillars of Christianity. No, why only restrict to four lies when they, they could lie about other things? I'm talking before God to ask God to bear witness for both of us. Let God bear witness. That if there's one single liar that's put in there by a man in the New Testament to say Jesus is not the Son of God, and, they, and you're saying he's not, and they've put that in there as a lie, and if they say there's a trinity, and that's a lie, I'm going to say, may God put me and all these authors in the fires of hell. Day and night, no mercy. Let, let me, me, let me borrow let your me Bible. Talking. No, let me finish talking. Let him be judged right now for the future. Judge my soul that if he's lied, about Jesus being the Son of God, these authors have lied. May they burn day and night. No mercy for a lie like that. To, to put everyone so they don't to believe a falsehood like that and to say that God's lying 
If they've lied, let them burn down night. But if I'm telling the truth, I'm going to pray to God. You, you are irrelevant. No, listen. No, no. If we are I'm talking about the truth, gospel office. I'm going to pray to God that even if you don't believe that he's the son of God, I'm asking God to be merciful and not condemn right. you. Let me borrow your Bible. Not condemn you. Let me borrow your Bible. Even if you don't believe it, I'm going to pray Stop to preaching. God Stop preaching. No, let me borrow your Bible. Bible. Let me borrow your Bible. Did you not earlier on say... No, I just told you what I said about the ten orphans. You're interrupting okay, again. This is not pillars. civilized behavior, no, no, the is it? Pillars, the four pillars. Uh, uh, try to have a civilized conversation, four right? Pillars. Civilized conversation. When someone lies about one thing, you're saying, oh, it's not important. No, I didn't say that. Like, can I finish? You're saying what I'm can saying. Can I finish? You're can I talk? Right. Without interjections. You're saying what I'm saying. Can I, no, I, didn't can say I talk without interjections? If you don't, what, can I talk without interjections? Yeah, we would, would you have this kind of civility? Well, and, 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 and good manners, right? I'm saying. I, no, no, good, good manners. I am saying, not what you're saying. I am saying, if, a, if an author lies... I want to show you something. If an author lies about many things, is it possible they can also lie about God? Is it possible? If he's inspired by that. No. no, no. Hear my question. No, no. If, if an gives, author... If God gives him a message... Yes, a specific message. He must convey that message to its entirety. This is what I'm saying. Well, that, that's what you if an individual you is lying about many things, no, you're not listening. are you? You need to listen, my friend. If an if any individual, I just told you. Listen carefully. Ten authors. If let them all burn. if ten authors are known to lie about many things, is it possible they can also lie about God? Yes. You're not listening to the answer. Is it possible? Yes. It is. Possible? Possible? Is it possible? Yes. So we have majority people saying possible. What do you say? What do you say? The answer is yes or no. You don't need to explain. You don't need to explain. Just tell me, is it possible? You said explain. Then what I go to? Answer by saying yes or no. No, I'm not going to answer him like that. Listen carefully, and you'll get some insight. I'm saying to you that the ten authors of the Bible, of the New Testament. Each one of them at some point, all ten in consecutiveness, say Jesus was the Son of God. He, now this is what they say, he died and rose again. Yes? His blood makes a new covenant. Yes? That's three things. We took a long time, you have to bear with me, yeah? And that there's a trinity and Jesus was conceived by the Holy Spirit. That's the five pillars of Christianity. In the, in the New Testament, ten authors, at some stage, not one of them denies that. Not one of them denies that. Not, you can't find me in the New Testament, yeah, any of them saying, Oh no, Jesus is, I'm, nine authors are lying, I'm telling the truth. He ain't the Son of God. So answer the question now. I've answered it, I've answered it. I asked you, is it possible if ten authors are lying about many things, they can also lie about God? The answers are, yes, it's possible. No, it's not possible. I don't know. Maybe. I don't care. I've given you five options. Which one? I just told you. Which one of these I five? I told you God never lies. Which one of God these five? Never lies. God Look, never lies. Look, my question is, if you have New Testament authors who, which, who lie about many things, is it possible for them... Let them burn, them, in, hell. Let them burn uh, in hell. Excuse me, lie. excuse me. Let them burn, good. Having, if they lie about many things, is it possible they can lie about God also? The answers are... Yes, it's possible. No, it's not possible. I don't know. Maybe. I don't care. Which answer are you going to choose from this five? Which any, one? Any, any human being no, that's not my spirit. options there. Any, any human my being answer has five options only. Not, Listen. Not lie about God's A decent, no, no, no. sincere, truth-seeking individual you will answer of these five I options. Said Jesus Christ is not the Son of God, and that's a lie. If Jesus did not die and get raised again, that's a lie, okay? If that is a lie, and these ten authors have lied about that, I'm telling you right now... Do you know what people are thinking? Finish, I want you don't need them, to finish. There I you go. Them, you don't need to finish. I want you know them what? to burn down um, and night. It's not, no being, it's not being a pleasurable experience speaking to I'm you. Right. We, we hope that God gives you I'll some sense you. and some that guidance that so that you can have a fruitful discussion pray, next time. I'll but pray. I don't think I'll you are... I don't think...
I don't to. think you are sincere enough to have a meaningful discussion. I even gave you five options. One of them was, I, I don't know. I Maybe, you. instead of answering this question, answer, you and Trump beating the bush, no, no wonder well, they weren't willing to talk about the morality well, question. No wonder. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they know they can they cannot stand their ground.